This series of videos will show parents how division is taught in primary schools and how you can support your child at home. In videos one and two, we looked at division taught up to year four. This video is going to cover some new methods that are introduced around years five and six. The first method is the bus stop method, and I'm going to show it using place value counters. By year six, children should be fully confident of how place value works and will be hopefully able to do this in the short division abstract form. This is probably the one you are most familiar with and the one you were taught at school. My example here is 4,894 divided by four. I draw a grid with thousands, hundreds, tens and units. I partition the four digit number into four thousands, eight hundreds, nine tens and four ones. I write the question in the standard bus stop division format on the right. Now because we're dividing by four we will look for groups of four in each place value and record them in the bus stop. There is one group of four in the thousands so we circle that and record one in the thousands position of the bus stop. There are two groups of four in the hundreds column and we circle those, putting a two into the relevant position on the bus stop. There are again two groups of four in the tens column, so we circle these and record the two in the bus stop. And you can see that there is one remaining ten left over. So the remaining 10 is transferred to the ones column, adding 10 red counters. And we also note the carried one in the bus stop by the four. There are now 14 red counters in the ones column. We can circle these into three groups of four, recording the three in the bus stop. Two counters are left over, so we have a remainder two, which we can also record in the bus stop. We can then put it into the original question, 4,894 divided by four equals 1,223 remainder two. And this can also be expressed as a fraction, and the children will be used to doing this, especially in years five and six, 1,223 and a half. The next method is chunking. So here we've got 184 divided by seven, and my word problem is I have 184 chairs for, an, a, school, for a school assembly. I arrange them in rows of seven. How many complete rows will I end up with, and how many chairs will be left over? So it's going to be a, have a remainder. Children encouraged um, to write down the multiples of seven on the right hand side so they can refer to them throughout the problem. The first multiple of 10 that we can easily identify here is 20 times seven, which equals 140, which we will take away from 184, leaving you with 44. Then subtract 42, because from our seven times table, we know seven times six equals 42. So we can take that away from 44 to leave two. Altogether, that is 26 sevens with a remainder two, which we can then put back into the number sentence. If your child isn't ready to chunk in groups of 20, then just go back a stage and chunk in groups of 10, which is perfectly fine. The chunking approach can be applied to dividing hundreds, tens and units by tens and units. And the layout links to chunking and is a long division method. So if we use 560 divided by 24 as an example, with a word problem of how many packets of 24 can we make from 560 felt tip pens, we can set it out in the traditional division format again writing our multiples of 24 
on the right hand side for reference. We multiply 24 by 20 to arrive at the first chunk that we can subtract from 560. So we take 480 off 560, that leaves us with 80. We then ask how many 24s go into 80, which we can see from our multiples is 72. Taking this away from 80 leaves 8 giving the answer of 23 remained 8. Putting the answer back into the original question gives us 560 divided by 24 equals 23 remained 8. And again, children are taught that 8 out of 24 is the fraction 8 24 which can be simplified to a third. So the full answer can also be expressed as 23 and a third. Now the final method I'm going to show you is long division. Uh, this shouldn't be done until all other methods are fully understood because it is an abstract form that doesn't really show, well it doesn't show an understanding of place value. So my question is 560 divided by 24. First, I set my question out using the standard bus stop way. Then I write my list of multiples for 24 on the right hand side. 24 is divided into each digit in turn. First, we ask 24 into 5, which clearly doesn't go. And so we record a zero in this first column to act as a place value holder. Now we ask how many 24s go into 56 and I can see looking at my list of multiples that two lots of 24 make 48. So I place two above the six. I subtract 48 from 56 leaving eight, which is the remainder from the first division. I then bring the next digit of the dividend down, which is a zero, making my new number 80. The question now is how many times does 24 go into 80? From our multiples list we can see the biggest number is 72. I then take 72 from 80 and it leaves 8. This is a remainder as I can no longer divide by 24. Putting the answer back into the original question, 560 divided by 24 equals 23 remainder 8 or if we want to express this as the fraction 23 and 8 24 or 23 and a third. So I've come to the end now of this presentation. I hope that you found this useful and will feel more confident in supporting your child with the division methods taught across both key stages in primary school.